It wouldn't be a proper fast and furious movie if you didn't see Vin Diesel driving around some classic Mapas. In this case, it's Dom's supercharged 1970 Dodge Charger RT that steals the trailer. It's shown in a flashback to the first movie, used in a high-stakes drag race against the villain, and finally dropped out of a cargo plane where it effortlessly destroys helicopters and pursuing cars. After all, it wouldn't be fair to kill off one of the movie series' enduring stars. Jason Momoa's Dante drives a highly modified and very purple 1966 Chevy Impala throughout parts of the trailer. The cos bright coloration and miles of chrome betray the fact that the character driving it is very much trying to exact his revenge on the main characters of the movie. It also appears in the trailer's drag race against Dom's Charger, where it partakes in various bits of villainy that would not at all be declared acceptable by any motorsports governing body. The second notable Chevy is driven by John Senna's character Jacob. Cena gets into an intense car chase in the canyons, and his vehicle of choice is a Chevy El Camino. However, his El Camino is unlike any other ever made, as it is equipped with what appears to be rocket launchers or a similar unguided surface-to-surface -surface missile system that Cena uses to blow up enemies' vehicles. In addition to American muscle cars getting a huge share of the screen, some European cars do their best to steal the show when in the trailer. Notably, an Alfa Romeo GT2000 is shown, ripping through the streets of a yet unannounced European city. The Alfa is in a throwback racing setup, complete with a front bumper delete and all manner of racing stripes. Not to be outdone, the little Alfa is seen driving next to an incredibly ostentatious Lamborghini Gallardo in a reflective gold wrap. In reality, the V10 power plant in the Gallardo would wipe the floor with the classic Alfa, but that wouldn't make for a very fun chase scene. Those are just a few of the cars that the trailer alludes to in the film. Undoubtedly, there will be dozens more cars exploding, jumping and chasing when the film releases on May 19th of this year.